Question, Jimmy. I'm a I'm a guitar fanatic, and you have backstage. You are, I guess are using. I was told you're still using the original guitars that you used when you were with Led Zeppelin. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. The uh, it's, it's a guitar. Actually, I used to play a, a Fender guitar, and and uh, Joe Walsh came out to me in the Fillmore in San Francisco and said, "You've got to buy this guitar. Right. You've got to buy this guitar." And it was this Les Paul. You right. know, and uh, he was right. He came yeah. right, and well, I've played it ever since. You, know? you, you did quite well with the Les Paul. Yeah, I, the, uh, <laughs> I think that worked out for you. Uh, <laughs> but what? But it was amazing as I came downstairs today, and I went back, and apparently one of those guitars that you used on the first Led Zeppelin album, first two, I think. Is, was leaning up against the wall. No, you know, no one's guarding it. Do you ever, aren't you worried about, do you have security for this thing? I think the security guard went to the bathroom at that point. 
because I took it and yeah. Uh, yeah, dipped it in caramel for no good reason. Uh, how did this is a great collaboration? This just works. How did you? How did this come about? Uh, actually, we've been friends for for a while, and we mm. and then. Rich and I and our band, the Crows, supported Jimmy and Robert in South America and some in Europe. So we got to know each other, hanging out. And um, last summer, a, a benefit concert came up, and Jimmy, we were going to be in London at the time. Jimmy, you know, said, "Would you guys come, uh, you know, be my band?" We right. were like, hmm. "Not sure." Yeah, I think we could probably. Who swing are you it. again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is there ever a moment for you two where you, you, you're playing, or when you first started doing it, and you look over, and not to embarrass you, but I like to embarrass people, where you look <laughs> over, and, and it dawns on you that this is Jimmy Page, and he's playing, and we're all playing together, and it's a little weird. Well, we're consummate professionals, so. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I was in that band, I'd stop at one point, just the first couple of times playing, I I'd just it, stop and go, it's Jimmy Page! I think, <laughs> you know Jimmy what? Jimmy Page rock! I think it was when you... <laughs> I think the first time we did we did a whole lot of love and when you had the theremin out, you know, for the woo, 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 I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, this is happening, you know, this is really happening. Right. Did you who has the better touring stories between the between you guys Gee, and, and I Jimmy? There. I, That's, <laughs> I wonder. My goodness. Is it ever like the seats are led up on, on tour and 70s, 90s. I mm -hmm. wonder who had more fun. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I picture? I'll tell you this. If it was the 70s, Jimmy wouldn't be sitting here on an all-male panel. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Roman Greco night. Can we get some girls? <laughs> My God. Some models. I'm something. sorry. I Spice did the best up. I could. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, well, Jimmy Page and the Black Crows live at the Greek. This is an amazing CD. Go out and buy this CD. And I'm so thrilled that you guys Thank made you. time for us. And uh, still, no masturbating bear. My second trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're working in. You better. Come on. You, two you, times. You better. You better explain that to Jimmy. He's a little confused. <laughs> what? Oh, what yeah. the hell? <laughs> Who is this masturbating bear? All right, uh, this, guys, this we're going to take... This is all part of those two stories you <laughs> <laughs> I heard about the masturbating bear in Zeppelin, yeah, in 71. Uh, all right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back, though. Stick around.